He is the PC and inshallah the incoming member of parliament for the good people of Lamusia. Uh, the Honorable uh, Professor Titus Bayou who addresses us on health. Communication officer, other comrades present, permit me to stand on the established protocols. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is my delight to present to you the health sector policies of the next NDC administration, led by the visionary leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, which is aimed at assuring that we have quality healthcare delivery to the people of Ghana. Currently, our health sector is bedeviled with serious human resource challenges, such as the mass exodus of our experienced human resources, due mainly to poor economic mismanagement and the lack of hope in the future of this country. These highly experienced staff are leaving. Another issue is unemployed graduates from our various health training institutions and a quota system in the admission into these training institutions. Compounding the human resource challenges are sick hospitals with dilapidated buildings, obsolete equipment, and the entire hospital environment is demoralizing to very dedicated and highly skilled staff who are unable to deliver according to their expertise because of these challenges. The NDC and His Excellency John Dramani Mahama believe that the health of the nation is the wealth of the nation. The visionary and empathetic leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, the nation builder, recognizes that Ghana needs a healthy workforce to support his game changer, the 24-hour economy, to reset this country on the path of prosperity and shared growth. Mindful that a well-trained and highly motivated health staff is a prerequisite for the delivery of quality health care, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the NDC propose the following policies in our manifesto. In the sector of health care financing, the NDC proposes that we will uncap the National Health Insurance Scheme. The National Health Insurance Levy has been capped and for those who don't understand it, an act was passed in 2017, first to reduce how much government can disperse under the levies we all um, contribute to 25%. As if that was not enough, it was further reduced to 17.5%. And so not all our levies go to the NIA fund for them to have access to it. And we believe that uncapping will make a lot of difference. His Excellency and the NDC also propose to establish the Ghana Medical Care Trust Fund, which we call Mahama Cares, to support the cost of health care for persons with chronic conditions like hypertension, sickle cell, diabetes, heart diseases. Many of these fall into the category of conditions we call non-communicable diseases. And they are the leading burden of disease mortality in this country and the leading cause of morbidity and mortality. We don't understand morbidity. So leading cause of sickness and leading cause of death in the country. <laughs> to put it in lay terms for everybody to get it. We also propose a free primary care health care um, concept starting from the chief's compound all the way to the polyclinic level in the medium to long term in the short to long, uh, medium term, sorry. In, one will ask what is in the manifesto for the healthcare infrastructure. The next administration intends to expand the healthcare infrastructure to restore prompt employment and timely deployment of healthcare workers. If you don't understand that, I think a lot of us know that when people go to nursing school, employment was almost automatic. But let me inform you that graduates from the year 2020, 2021, 2022 are still at home of nurses. And 2023 has just joined, unemployed. And because we have about 100 and few days to election, 
They've opened their portal for only 2020 nursing graduates or other cases of healthcare workers, no information yet. Maybe in November, they'll open a bit another portal just to get votes for it. We intend to construct a 500 bed specialist hospital, children's hospital, and a fertility center in Accra. The next administration intend to refurbish the Kolebu Teaching Hospital as an additional ultra-modern quaternary specialist hospital. Currently, the only quaternary hospital we have is the UGMC, University of Ghana Medical Center. And the administration that initiated and built it is making this pledge that we will elevate Kolebu to that level. The next administration intends to refurbish the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital to meet the standards of an ultra-modern teaching hospital. The NDC administration will also expand the whole teaching hospital to provide comprehensive specialist services and establish a quaternary hospital in the Volta region to attract medical tourism from that enclave. His Excellency envisions that a specialist and trauma hospital will be built in the OT region to respond to emergencies along the Eastern Corridor. You know we have one at Winneba covering that part, but we have none in the Eastern Corridor, and the Eastern Corridor roads are being worked on. To upgrade a Greater Accra Regional Hospital, that's Rich Hospital, to a full teaching hospital and link it to the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons for specialist training. And then we intend to upgrade the Navrongo War Memorial Hospital to facilitate the training of doctors, nurses, and other health workers in that area. The next NDC government would establish a modern dialysis center in the Upper East region to serve that catchment area. There is something of a dialysis happening there, but very minimal. We intend to build an ultra-modern hospital in Boku, Yendi, and other towns based on needs assessment. What is in our 2024 manifesto for health workers, the human resource? is planning to establish a college of allied health sciences for postgraduate medical training, especially training for these cadre of health workers. We plan to introduce a degree and specialist training program for colleges um, of nursing to improve the skill of our nursing care to that level. In furtherance of that, we are providing scholarships, opportunities for nursing tutors so that when we convert their schools to a degree awarding institutions, they will have the caliber of teachers to offer that tutor services there. So they'll be giving scholarship to study PhD programs in preparation for that transformation. The next NDC administration plans to complete the establishment of additional campuses for the University of Health and Allied Sciences at Keta and Battle. The, His Excellencies government from January 2025 plans to establish a medical school in the Brong Ahafo region, the former Brong Ahafo region, currently the Bono, Bono East and Ahafo regions, and operationalize the Sunani Teaching Hospital as a site for, for medical training. And for those who know how doctors are distributed in this country, when a medical school or a site of a medical school is open any region, automatically, you have a lot of specialist consultants gravitating there to improve service delivery, research, and teaching. And so this will help address the more distribution of professionals in this country. We intend to introduce one of my favorite policies, the risk exposure insurance for healthcare workers to provide financial protection and support in the event of injuries, illness, that we encounter in the line of duty. And I can tell you, and colleagues, doctors who are here will tell you, that when doctors, nurses, other healthcare workers fall ill in the line of their duty, sometimes we have to write to the presidency, they have to go on social media to raise funding just to manage conditions that they themselves have been taking care of other people and they cannot afford it. So this insurance, and it's none like what we saw during the COVID. 
we intend to provide affordable accommodation within the premises of health facilities and offer home ownership schemes. And this one, I know all the unions are excited about this because they are putting in effort to acquire parcels of land in the various regions. I'm former General Secretary of the Medical Association. I know that we have done that, acquiring parcels of land for doctors in Ho, in Wa, in other regions. How will they build? And the home financing scheme will come in handy there. And we intend to reward healthcare workers who accept postings to rural communities and underserved areas with decent 20% um, of their basic salary as an allowance. But in addition to that, a shorter service period for promotions and study leave if you accept to serve Ghanaians in those areas. In, sorry. So what is in our manifesto for herbal, traditional, and alternative medicine? The next administration of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama intend to mainstream research-backed herbal, traditional, and alternative medical practice in patient management at all levels in the country so that we don't get one herbal drug that is managing every condition and the doctors are scared to prescribe and patients are scared to take. We will have evidence-based practice in this area. For the pharmaceutical sector, we intend to support the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana with incentives to make Ghana a pharma hub. Also for the human resource bit, we intend to reintroduce the vehicle tax wa waiver for healthcare professionals. That is well regulated because this was a very useful thing that was available for doctors and other healthcare workers. It was abused. The government changed it into a revolving fund. It was not sustained. And now the plan is to reintroduce it and regulate it very, very well. So being that these are highlights of the manifesto, I'll proceed to conclude, ladies and gentlemen, and I will ask in conclusion, that can we trust that these policies will be implemented to promote quality healthcare delivery? Yes. 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 And I say a confident yes. Why is it yes? The messenger is credible and trustworthy. Yeah. The NDC and His Excellency John Dramani Mahama have the track record in the health sector. Yes. To ask the doctors and nurses, our first ever codified conditions of service document was delivered in 2015 and 2016 respectively by the government of the NDC. And we are forever grateful. To the patients and the healthcare seeking public, the record is there. The University of Ghana Medical Center, the Dodua Ultra Modern Hospital, the Bank Hospital, the International Maritime Hospital, and the thousands of chips compound dotted across the countries, built by slashed salaries of appointees of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, are testimonies to us that we can trust that this man can do what he is saying. I therefore invite you, citizens of Ghana, to opt for the NDC's superior policy proposal and sign the social contract with us on the 7th of this January 2025. The credible and incorruptible pair of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Professor Nana Jin Opoku Ajman present the safest pair of hands to entrust the future of our healthcare to. Ladies and gentlemen, Mahama cares, and he will reset Ghana into a healthy country and put us on the path to shared prosperity and growth. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was another 15 minutes presentation on the policies, health policies and programs contained in our 2024 manifesto. He started with what we will do about health financing, what we'll do with the NHIL, free primary health care, 
And from there, he came down to what we will do about health infrastructure. From there, he spoke about what we will do for health professionals to boost morale and to have a health sector that works and that delivers quality you know, outcomes. So another round of applause for Professor Titus Bayou, NDC parliamentary candidate for the Lambusi constituency. Now, ladies and gentlemen, education is important, and we've spoken about our policies on education. Health is very important, and we've spoken about health. But without security, you can't enjoy the health facilities, infrastructure, policies, and programs we have just discussed. Without security, education would be meaningless. And so at this stage, we want to talk to you about the policies and programs we have in our manifesto in the area of security. This is important because at the manifesto launch, time did not allow His Excellency President Mahama and our vice presidential candidates to go into issues of security. And so in the next 15, they are all doing 15 minutes, but because this man is a security man, I know you will do less. So, um, but before he comes, uh, let me acknowledge the presence of another spokesperson uh, for education, Mr. Kwame Alovi is here. A round of applause for Mr. Kwame Alovi. So, um, Honorable Peter Lanchen Tobu is a member of parliament for the good people of Wawes. Let's welcome him to the mic. Thank you very much, the National Communication Officer of the Great National Democratic Congress. I'm going to surprise you a little. Uh, sitting behind me, where he just stepped out, is my primary school teacher, <laughs> Honorable Emmanuel Zimakwe. <laughs> yes. I want to also welcome all my other colleagues, spokespersons, and everybody who is in this room, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am sure as you sit, you feel very comfortable because you are the National Democratic Congress headquarters where security is tight. Just look to your left or to your right, and you realize that probably the person sitting close to you, you don't even know the person. But you are very comfortable in the room because the party that is coming to power has arranged this press conference for you, and you are here very confident that you go back home very safe. That is the National Democratic Congress. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot have development without security. Similarly, democracy becomes extremely fragile if our men and women in uniform cannot handle contemporary security threats to end the respect of the civilian population. My journey with the taxi driver, a very short story. Last Sunday, and I do this most of the times, I pick a taxi cab for 25 minutes just look at what is happening in town. And the simple question I used to activate a conversation. 10.30 PM, how do you feel related to the security situation in the country? I had a 25-minute lecture from the taxi driver on the security situation in Ghana, the layman's perspective. And all he said was, my brother, if somebody threatens to kill you in Ghana now, if you know of any pastor, any elder, any influential person who will go and beg for the person to forgive you, go get them to go and beg for you. And I said, why? And he continued. There are a lot of examples that I can give to justify this statement. Soldiers are killed. Some are injured by civilians. Police officers are attacked, beaten, and killed. MPs are not safe. Journalists are not spared. Bankers are killed. Watchmen are killed serially. And he was referring to what is happening in Wa and recently in the Savannah region. Above all, voters are killed during democratic elections. And what is more hurting is the fact that after all this, nobody is arrested, the crime is not detected, and all of us continue to live in fear. He continued, do you know that youth unemployment is the greatest security threat to our nation? Do you also know that the rising cost of living 
is actually pushing this country to the edge of the cliff. I got to my destination, ladies and gentlemen, and I assured him your frustrations are dealt with completely by the next NDC administration that is coming, effective September January 2025. <laughs> After paying an amount of 70 Ghana cities, I'm making him to know that President John Rahman Mahama is coming back. He held the money in his hands, and I could see from his eyes, he wished he could give that money back to me, because he can see hope, and he actually saw hope through me. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my brothers from the media, the only real security that a person will have in this world is a result of knowledge, experience, and ability. It is thus a truism that the only real security that a nation can have is a result of knowledge, experience, and ability of the man who is in charge, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, the chairman of the National Security Council, and for that matter, His Excellency, the President of the Republic. Comparing the two leading candidates in these 2024 elections, President John Dwamani Mahama and Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. Both of them happen to be my elder brothers. And I can tell you, I know them well. And I will mean words. President John Dwamani Mahama is miles ahead of Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya in the area of integrity, in the area of knowledge, in the area of experience. <laughs> what is the next NDC government coming to do? Effective seventh. January 2025. And I think the President made it very clear that within 14 days, his cabinet will be in place. That is a very serious-minded person. One, with the military, and I know they are watching me, and they are excited that I'm speaking, because you know what I know, and you know what we can do. Anytime the NDC is in power, men and women in uniform, I can tell you, are always excited, because morale is always very high. We are going to construct housing units and refurbished, dilapidated, and abandoned housing units across the country. We are going to establish the Armed Forces Home Ownership Scheme for all personnel and officers. We are going to review and adjust salaries and allowances of troops and defense civilian staff to align with changing realities. We will complete and equip the Kumasi Military Hospital at Afari in the Central Command. We will initiate the construction of military hospitals in Ho, Bolgatanga, and Sepiriosa. We will establish the Veterans Referral Department in the military hospital across the country. This excites me. Our men and women in uniform, when they retire, we should continue to revere them. Why would a retired officer go to the hospital and go and join a queue? We should have a specialized department to give them that special attention that they desire. Having served the nation sometimes 20 years, some of them 30 years, and some of them even more. We will ensure transparency in the selection process for peace support operations. We will expand and equip the field engineers' corps to undertake national emergency projects, road construction, and be licensed to undertake commercial ventures of the government. For the other security agencies, in no particular order, I just pick some of the policies that I want to highlight. For them to understand that the NDC is so comprehensive, thinking about what we can do to reset the security sector. We will develop a comprehensive security and safety program to support the implementation of one of the most famous, if not the famous, or the star program or policy of the NDC government come first, say January 2025, the 24-hour economy policy. We're going to recruit 25,000 officers, 25,000 men, to add to the existing strength so that we have the capacity to police the policy of the 24-hour economy. We will ensure merit-based, transparent, and decentralized recruitment and promotions in all security agencies in line with the HR GAF analysis. I'm sure you heard recently that they wanted to do a recruitment for 11,000 people. And the story cannot be told in this room. But when we come, we are going to decentralize the process and make sure that it is transparent, equal access to equal opportunities. Expand the implementation of community-based crime prevention programs focusing on high crime areas by enhancing police presence and patrols in neighborhoods and public spaces. I'm sure in 2014, 2015, under the regime of one Inspector General of Police that called Mr. Mohammed Ahmed Al Hassan, that was the first time Ghanaians heard of police visibility. And people were excited. You close from work and you are going home in the night, get to your junction and you find a police officer standing there. What is the problem? I'm just here to ensure that you are safe. And people were excited. We are going to make that program better. 
enhance border security and cooperation with international partners to combat terrorism, terror financing, and fight against foreign terrorists. Ladies and gentlemen, we will introduce a nationwide community policing program that is instructive, and I can tell you it's a game changer, very particularly for internal security. We invest in ICT infrastructure, training, modern equipment, mobility, and other logistics to support intelligence gathering and enhance national safety. Recently, you could hear the Alpha project that there were cameras all around, and even there was a promise that every police station was going to have a camera installed. That is just a promise. Many of the promises, including even within the security, are never fulfilled. If we don't take security serious, I don't see why we should take it serious and allow you to lead the country. We will control the proliferation of small arms and light weapons. We will clear the backlog of promotions and ensure timely promotions based on meritocracy and transparency. For the men and women in uniform, if you do anything, it is all about their promotions. Take it serious. They don't care what you do for them. It doesn't matter what you do for them. If it affects their promotion negatively, you will never be forgiven. But we are going to do that respecting meritocracy and competence. We will prioritize the welfare of serving and retired personnel of our security agencies. We will harmonize and address disparities in salaries, remuneration, and other conditions of service across the security agencies. We will review and enforce the medical package for serving and retired personnel and their families. We will review compensation packages for personnel who lose their lives or get injured in the line of duty. We will revamp the police public order management training school in Palu roll out a transparent, a transparent police education and scholarship scheme, and introduce state-of-the-art technology for police operations. Policing is a science, and we need to understand that, that security itself is becoming more complicated than we understand, and we need to study it seriously as a country. Change the name of the Ghana Prison Service to the Ghana Correctional Service, and modernize prison service to make it humane. Changing the name is just mere, it's not mere change in nomenclature. We are changing the philosophy of the prison service that from 2025, when we put people, when we convict people, we are going to send them to correctional centers and not prisons. I don't want anybody in Ghana to go to a prison again. I want everybody to go to a correctional center. That when we implement operation, recover all loot, and you are even jailed, we will send you to go and be corrected, to go and be reformed, so that we use you to try. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to create well-equipped technical and vocational department in all major prisons, and that is the purpose. It's a reform center. It's not a, punish it's not a punishment center. At least, deterrence is enough if you don't even see your family. But you don't go there and come back and become worse off. You go and steal a cow or a goat, and you go back and come back, and you graduate into an arm robber. That is not the way to go. We need to let that place be a correctional center. So the change of name is the change of philosophy. We will establish the NATMO Fund as enshrined in the NATMO Act for 2016 fully implement the 2015 Supreme Court ruling and the recommendation of the Constitutional Review Commission. We will facilitate the construction of a, a customs hospital for seven and retired officers of the Ghana Review Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, as the National Communication Officer said, you know, security people, we don't speak much. In conclusion, <laughs> the security of our nation, listen to this, the security of our nation cannot be entrusted into the hands of a person who cannot be trusted. Warren Buffett, an American philosopher, philanthropist, and businessman, once said, in looking for people to hire, please be guided by three qualities. One, integrity. Two, intelligence. And three, energy. He said, without integrity, the other two will kill you. For the past almost eight years, we have our nation in the hands of leaders without integrity. And the consequences are the mess we are witnessing across the sectors, the security sector, not an exception. If President Akufuado and Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia were men in uniform, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you, at least by now, they would have been interdicted for bringing the name of Ghana into disrepute. <laughs> Our proud men and women in uniform know the difference between the NDC and the MPP. The difference between the presidential candidates of the great NDC and the MPP is clearer now than before. It is not news that morale amongst our men and women in uniform is always high any time the NDC is in power. Thank you all, and may God bless our homeland Ghana, and make it great and strong. 
Change is inevitable, and change is coming. The NDC, under His Excellency President John Bramani Marama, is coming back, effective the 7th of January, 2025, inshallah. And all I want to tell you is that God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. So we've had three brilliant speakers, three brilliant presentations on education, health, and security. And their presentations summarize the key highlights of our policies as captured in the manifesto we launched last Saturday on these various sectors. And ladies and gentlemen, at this stage, I would want to open the floor. I know most of the media people are seated at the back. Please wave at me if you have a question for any of the speakers. If you don't have a question to, uh, we can call it a day. Because I can see from the way you're all smiling that you don't have questions. Do we have any questions? Good. It means that our speakers have done a good job. So what we're going to do now, we just had 50 minutes, you know. Um, so what we're going to do now is that I would want to plead with the English stations here to bear with us. Just keep your cameras where they are and your microphones where they are. Honorable Apak will come and do a quick summary of the policies, just the policies on education in the Khan language. And please, for those who say, oh, why don't you do Eve or Dagbani and all that, for those watching, the stations here are all either English or Akan. And the other challenge is that I don't speak Dabani, I don't speak Ever. And everybody you don't. So don't worry. Honorable Ukujutua Blackwa will come and you will speak Ever. And we'll have other spe uh, spokespersons speaking other local languages. But for today, they are here to do quick summaries in the Peel language for the purpose of the Akan stations here. So, Dr. Park, the floor is yours. Yo, many of you are here for your friend Dr. Clement Abasa Park. Me na me ye MP, Emma Busa South for. Na him say we are here she mu. Ye manifesto, ye flag bearer, John Ramani Mama. I do too ya. No hunsem, ena ye di unkomo. Na kata no esunye papa papa. Enti. Nyama ba kumi yenu biya miji di se unhiya ena medubetu menum na se wiena se asimbisa owa na yiki ano di edi kain ya kansi susa se oche edusuya a ene Ghana yeni na yehu di akosuna yetumi yehu se enkoye kani na na NDC ewa abemu nom na inimse eba edusuya. A idea now, your boy home modern. And he said, A Bashana secondary school for one beco school, and Naki to be no more be fee, no more be da, bear busum, you know, a Biani and Corani Bedi, and so on, or more primary school, can you know more co school, or multimedia PE sports, or multimedia cultural activities, and they as I said, a buying entry a capitation grant in Tino. In Konyan and Asifoy Bubukra, she come on Benyana, Yadiama Carpenter, Somba Cray Cray. I know your Tiffy Capitation Grant to Mono, Emma, Nisa Osha, a teacher for Aqua and Sono, almost Amu Oma Sitnum, and Koye, and Antony Utmiwana, teacher for no, no mark or strike. Now I say in United Sir Oma Mochre, Yankora Moor Colleges of Education. Omo or strike, bear with swimming in Ukraine, Omofi, Ems and Richiana, a crack cray. It is a bad decision. It means I could for the Nibo Miabino. One more year, dear cry, a coffin, Uibacano, Oma Bon, and the young fan shas here and free in penning for a suku, a friend of Tesshari. Your mamma and I buy, say, Yamia Dumas a motto, a banner mana, a batashara, don't obey. The other kind, or see, I'm quite an umbeco Tesshari, and only a training college, Tanka University, College of Education. And then nursing training. Omunina, Yabama admission, Sir Womon Kosku, Tashalino, 
omo academic yusufi aban be yeden obegi afa ebi o se o hwe enkora na ebi a se bi o omo didam no ena me ni wukase dodo na eni made omo tro nso hwe na so mo passes omo ko tertiary ya se o met me nya sika ana se o met me nya emboa oboa fo amana abo omo omo ma ko tertiary no ya no mo nya te jo mama se mo ya na adom na so be president ta obi bia o ya gana ni a se bi o wedi dem o passe ya se o ko tertiary aban e be gi ni fees from first year etuaka sa na we ko e ko wie ya gbara no nso no se o hwa university titru omo kwa esan se e dan a wo ho e no so e ya aban de ya no hostel hostel so na e wo ho a end campus no e ka no e ya na e ye ade enwu oduo te jo ma ma se o ba woni private sector you know you know be ya pam se de be ya o be provide beds for all and no che se ye be si on campus hostels na ama hostel bo no ayeden na abafom be bia me ni mu din koma me tai kan che se o be hwa get funder aben e de get fund e se a wo wo o san so e de get fund aye bi bia e friend o capin nti jo mama so ba capin na ye dia to get fund so na e san so get e de get fund e se a wo wo no o be ye fru ho e sun so sun 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 so no ne den se ye de capin get fund na collateralization e yifri ho a sika pudu e wo se be get fund ho no e be ba na sa sika no ye de be he den ye de be ye education area financing e no na de be si school adan e no na de be tun konya ma enkora no e no na de be scholarship se de be ya enkora no do do na e be nya ehun emphasis wo na se en che bia na ti se scholarship secretariat wo ba hwa na se eh party chairman freddy blay ne ba wa ji scholarship okoye eh law e wo abrochire anso me me kura se nkora mo ho muni ma de no e san so bia ni mo munti no wo munya scholarship ye hwe ye na amonfo omo 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 ma me no omo papa no e wa ba mu omo ana no munya scholarship no e de jo ma ma se oba o de emra e be ba parliament e me ye gi etum se re be ya wo be biara o be ka se o pe scholarship be ma na scholarship no na o ye obi a o ye akwara woni ma de a ne mami anase ne papa enye obi a owo sika anase oye aban mu ejuma enti wa ka se oba he is going to initiate a legislation that is going to manage and disburse scholarships to those who need the scholarships yebra secondary education ye nyina ye nim se ena ye ka sei ye obi bi a friend double track and only day se ankora ne bebe ko school na ebi wo fie kane no na ye fe no red gold and green do do na e gidi se ko en ko ye e wo ho te jo mama se oba sa double track no wo be ye fri ho na ya sa ko ne dada no mu se de na e tie no en kora ne nyina ko school a no mu nyina ko school preko so mu bo fie a no mu nyina so aye den abe fie preko se obet mi a e di se gme ya o se o di sika puduo ebe she infrastructure mu chere be ya e blocks na o she ase e a o wie 76 a 46 ye ti ya no ana se bi ya no e ma nkora e start ye su ade a akufa do ne ba o ya ba ya o ma je do do ay si nwuram e bi kura ye de ama obi na o de ye portrait e bi de ye warehouse no o so ba o be wie ni nyina na wa san si fofura ka ho na schools na e bi wo ho no na wa san trim se de be ya nkwara no obi a e be nya bebi ada se de be ya double track no ye be yi e free ho so o hwan so a na ankra ankra schools e wo ho aye free won private schools free senior school policy e ba ye aben yi aye na adwen se ankra ankra schools no nkwara na wo mo benefit from free senior school no wo mo nko ho e bi your mama so ba o be extend the free senior school to cover students in the private secondary schools or sanses is oba tibet any stem ay enim se hu hia no oba reform secondary education curriculum na stem agriculture vocational skill 
digital literacy, civic education, design thinking, any life skills. Ningi na anu yabere day yadebeka hong. Osanse osanse se science resource centers suno wabetrim ama omani ningi na region bi ano ebiya ewa hono wabetrim ebiya bi ni hong suno na yesibi akahong. So if you answer, I am going to do one another. It be a course school. As we say, I will find in Nibie. I will move to senior high school. I will move to Fie. I will move to Minko University. Then you know, I will enter the fee free first year tertiary education policy. No, ever. Now, so no, you are the day. And you will be here. And I will be here. I will be called university. And I will be here. And I will be called TVET. If you are going to Fie. We saw people who were swimming in San Juan. They also have the National Apprenticeship Program. Ebaba, she the Bayer. Omo omo people who went to school. No, you bet me. Edo omo ama master craftsman. Omo omo is swimming in San Juan. Abain eba fekano. Omo wiyenswa. Abain eba to. Akadia na wose. Omo nya na omo anso no. Omo de shasi ano na omo de ashasi. Ni omo de donso na we na me bossu. It was secondary. Yes, I'm super and quite a year from early childhood and as a KG, any basic education now. John Mama say, Moya na dum, that's a motu mana. Waba, what did the Ofreno Bright Beginnings Initiative ever ba? I am no, no, a bema, yam quara and kitten kitten, and I said, Toto Fiwano. Ah, Dudwana, a biofie, and I said, Baby or Muano, Ubefanona. Primary school na wo hon na KG eni ho enti wo mo nya opportunity on beko KG for sure ba baby a KG is eni ho no ye be ma KG is na ayaden e bia ba ho na ye ne sanso na se school bia e wo KG ana se ye ma me no ma e bi wo dom ni na sifo e di dwa no ye 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 KG is e wo ho na e kwara no e betmi a shase entem se de be ya answer o on be do influencia a on be ko P1 no Na umwe dikaya ya deni, esunya diwose umusunya. Ena nansi ya yedi nkomo yinu. Sane te wewe wiasi ya fene nina. Na wei ya diya, ya da jonda mani mama. Ene, eni isi ya kumaso. Inti waba, ya diya oba ya deni. Wadebe ya juma. So wasa anso shia, ya mkwara ni tutuwa nana. So uko sku eni, titru, mkronki tuwa eni mkraseno. Wabe kwa classroom, ne mkwara anu edi da form. Ebiti ti, ebuoso. Mkonye niwa ombe tinaso. So ombe kaya, abrana mamuru baumia na kufadu ebo apro. Mamuru baumia, na o shate edie fita wako osku. Eko ura klas. Nen kwa ranu edda fom. Ene esunya die, okutu ho. Eno o shebo. Se nyame yo mwadu mna so moba. Sa se mwono ombe yefri ho. Enu yanu mna adofo. Ena minu ukese eno. Da bain, ena mamuru baumia. Esa ako se asku ho. The only one who is not alone, and that is, adore our ma, empo akamu. The jamama is your bar, or the policy or friend of furniture for all. Ebeba, I'm a school ebiya. Ebe it me anya mkonya atnasu. Oni a capital for eno amu amu ye mkonya, amu amu ye enuyahu. Ejuma, ebe she apam. Then you tumi aye mkonya no ame mkonya na atnasu. And Chebi has been here 2019. And I've been here. I can say what the curriculum for Fraba. I know a friend of standard-based curriculum. Matthew Poku Prempe. I do one of friend in a po. I was here NDC, MPP running meet. On one another, I was here minister for, or they say, education. So I'm back here. I want to also say standard-based curriculum. I want to say standard-based curriculum. I want to say standard-based curriculum. Comprehensive sexuality education. Aba. Ananka no no. Ose de shasi every kg. Edi akko senior high school. Ananka no no. Ye betra ye mkwara no. Se obema tumi wari bema. Oba tumi wari oba. Akwara e tumi wa mami fo mi enu. Akwara e tumi wa papa fo mi enu. Ene ya sori kuti a ye. Eno mu yi fri ho. Eno nyina e chino. Ena aminu uke se yi. Nkrata anke wase. E mkwara no e nya omu wo sku. 65 percent pe ena abeny eight million produce de jo mama so ba se de NDC e ye no dada ano ane e wohwa akwara biya e wohwa the required number of textbooks no ye besa 
edesa aba ama akure bia etu bia nyakrata edi esuade na schools no do on so no ana ewo enuase aye frere no schools and the trees as an ndc ni jo mama e be fi abemu no na ye yie fi ho ne sa enso na me no kese yi enya apak na eka enya jo mama na eka ana enya sa me jemfi na eka africa education watch any civil society e wo education sector wo mu nyina dia dance e se na me no kese yi no schools pori 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 over 5000 e ye and the trees ye nyan kind e ye dilapidated and I say, at the time, pansam, I can't. The your mama saw a bar. Obesi school are dying. And a school are dying. Obesi no so no. Se osia. Obesi be be a teacher for be a day. E be da. And so I can't. We no e be boa. Yeah, yeah. We unkrong ketwa. As a teacher for ne bar. We want to me enya baby enya no. We say since since we a teacher ni. Na se oje penye. So we kwa kuchira die. E wo e krasi. The same me kura se doninga anase bachongsa anase kanjaga we ketuano obesa anso age 20 percent aka ho se de be ya uko e kura se na wonso no obet me won se aban ayi ni yem a ode bo a wo se wo ko e kura se no ono so ne ni aso osan se achochire fo ono woni omo 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 nkuo no wo wo mba sha pam se de be ya aban e be boa no one who no, made me any sicker through the offering no, mortgage system. Na teacher for no, it me any or more or more dying. Or Sansi teacher for no, do one an a ya, the beer more on Comunia car, in Cababua, said a ya, wait me a coscoon no, term, now upon Wabantem. Or say an also no, obey initiative scheme. I've been teacher for it me any car or more pay. Said a bear duty, any a hunk cahono. I buy a bit me, I'm a guarantee. Now, teacher for no, any bank of four, eight me a dink a home, no meet me out top, car, a da or more, a mark muscle. May you say in some no dorsum, the way not my bonnet tougher, the way you're in the you may do come on. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, um, Honorable Peter Tobu, uh, what befa lawyer said she needed here at the bracket, and they have fine charity, and they have a channel. Uh, and rightly so, because um, for the target audience, they understand the message in English. So he doesn't have to do a translation. But because health is broad and affects the entire citizenry, we will let our spokesperson and presenter on health do a summary. Not the policies for health workers, no. Those ones they understand in English. But just the ones on health financing, and the ones on infrastructure. So just that, um, five minutes. Thank you. Today my shoe wasn't coming across. Today my shoe wasn't coming across. Eh. Anya, mama, 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 and my child, my camp. In tell me, say, ye manifesto, yen se ma, ye di atuja, efa, in pomodin hono, and no, na meso, me be bonito fa kakra, e di amamu. Na, me ka se, ye man penny, e yo bia, or wo abadaye, or dream ni pa hon, or dream yen pomodin hon. No, nim se, 24 hour economy na or day bano. Se, ye gana, ye economy na a se kra no. Ya nyen kofo a omo wo mpomodin a ye ntimi nye djuma entete ye ho enfi e kai mu nti ye hia nkofo a omo wo aho din mpomodin a obetima ko djuma nya se de bia nipa i was o ko ye djuma no oyare eh ene o excuse to want me ama nti se be ya ho de be ba no nsi se ya o di atu edwa no ebi enie first one eh ye nye ye fere no the national health insurance scheme insurance insurance ye yi asemba ko e wo ho ne se Boni ke siye biya akufuado eni baomia edi adi omani pa eye health insurance auto petrol auto edjani o auto bibia yeti bibia efe ni national health insurance levy ah sa se kana ya tino anku wasi edi koma health insurance for se de biya o yaria na oko hua yeti mi edi asho ne mum ni abani se abani edi sa skani ni na 
na odi bibi e eh, friend say cap atoso and they say or so the nsa asom enye ni nyina no do ma health insurance for no and the first no no mo say o ma cap no to 25% each year come the about 17.5% na che say the gs ask ni nyina bo mu a ni nyina akoda aban sika futuro mu obetimi de nsa abom e dey atop plane dey anant e wiem in so say ya dey be call akwa akwa she be bia e be hwe ye mpomudin ti ma ma say oba sika bia ye be jiji say ye dey boa health insurance no or money in our health insurance for home. Now, Timmy Abwaye. Now, since I saw the baby break, I do current health insurance no any age, my papa. And it's so because I told a draw hospital, I could tell a draw 10 CD. Insurance almost this kind of thing. I'm going to have a hospital in the panel. I'm going to have 10 CD. I'm going to have a 7 CD. Into a car, I'm going to have a 3 CD. I'm going to have a car to have a draw. No, only be. Into a car, I'm going to have a car. But just as a key, I'm going health insurance for now. Obet me at the age of my baby. Mobeti, Mbenyan in Tia, Dallas is in Semubaye. Yet they say health insurance for Nancasa Casse, and Comusica in Yamba or Moa, and commit me as for Dallas is Cadim. Then, as I say, Omusica in Yamba Hono, a heading, and a ma, or Moto, Natiagu, and Nimukakra, a car said they, or more my free Dallas is Nemumu, or Moti, my age beer, or Munim says our category. Nipa or more dialysis problem, no, or Musa cra, who can cry be a five cra, or Mundu. Mamma say, Oh, yes, sir, at the end. Um, Osansi or the Bibiba, a friend of Ghana Medical Trust Fund, Ghana Medical Care Trust Fund, Mahama case, Mahama case, a year fund to be a obeyisika at the Atoho. Nayan fam wa Yaria, a winya, and power, my more dink of winya, at the say. Uh, dialysis and semia ye kain, kidney diseases, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, kukram. Semu ni kukram. Aha, inti osi obe tu sika ke si ebi ato ho. Nye ti midi abuwa sa ya riye ya mabobo din because uwe hunse, se si anu enye malewe ane sa anye manu ene ekun agana fo, eye ya riye uwe enu mo. E si chye ya riye moja broswo a efe ni bipi. E no no mo na edi inkofo ehunya ewo gana ha inti oso oba eh odisika ebetu ho for enu ye osanso the free primary health care obi wo ho a osori a niti ne panic keke or call the chief's company ko je para oni health insurance e ya sem mahama se oba from chief's compound all the way to polyclinic chief's compound health center polyclinic or the free primary health care concept ne ba or by yen she share say, who cost a hospital say I bobo din ya? Who were health insurance so? Only health insurance so? Yeah, be sure. Free. Free. Only this can be a. Inti adia a wo a hono no. Yeah, ba yem pomo din aso a yewa. Eh, mi se mo enche mo te se kumasi G. Yeah, see hospital na kaza so yari. Emma otunfo atunihu asi wose or di diska. No, the Asan Hospital in the area. In the baby, I will go some way in the Honakasa area. In the Mahama say or Pesel or Ba or Boa and Pomudin as well. Now, any young one ding, now intimate and shay, and more bang and a odeba or see Ushe Ghana and Mofra a young cophobia or Mupomudin won't seminal. You ensure that and find the serious into a BC. A center of excellence, and Mofra Hospital Care, see, ah, and pa, ah, a war hospital, no, dear, five hundred, a five hundred, a high room, a high room, na, say, be ya, a bayer hospital care, see, ah, and Mofra, ya, we be ya, and a one doctor for you, na, a be war, you need to be as our gun, ha, and ya, and ya, ya. We yet say, I no more say, or most room will see me be sour wager. And yep, no more wager, one hundred and twenty beds. Theater three penny womb. Theater three no, sir. O your Uyan Cola operation, oh, when near, won't me use a theater na and track or nine. A cola wo henia, won't me find a cost at theater na. Now, who call Osha Ghana, I be Mamuha, Yagana, be Mamuha, South Africa pet. And near what hospital said near your Mahama Peso or Yamai. 
Yet the doctor for Oko South Africa Mamoko ye training. It was our hospital. Your friend Red Cross War Memorial Hospital. It was Cape, Cape Town. Mama person or the BBC eba. Na Nigeria for Togo for one more money now so I be seeing there waha. But your more family there. Colabia or Arabia or Ghana have a new baby. Ah, a bit me the number ho. I'm a yet me Asher ne kama kama kama. Ena kolebu konfanochi. Also, Obe Pejasa, as we na na, Omo itimi afa, Omo itimi apa Afra. Say the way I okoye juma oha. Udu okra na. Say the whole year feninti. Wo na Obe ye juma no kwa udu ana weniachi. Unsu na oyarin udu ha. No akuma ato yim. Ye si UGMC ye ye. Me first day me do ho me kase ah. Ye juma ye juma oha na yantu me kakra me ye juma. Because whole year fe. Udu ha kra wa akuma ato yim. Now, so we could be so cool, you might be caught here to say, and the light in the so yeah, and so oxygen and ma ECG in Tinuna Yabasa in T. San Yamai Colibu Confanochi Nadina or Bemaso or see or the specialist trauma hospital, hospital as a B and California car a quenchia. I bet me do my two and ten term near home to send you a woe in a banibi or the B air bar or T region. Oko medical school, sir. Uh, young and your start University of Health and Allied Sciences. Or see, or betray me near the uh, medical school compound near Bakun Ako, Keta near the Bakun Swako, Bato, na it's me a boy. Now, me, you know, I'm a half full, Bono and a Bono East, dear. I said, Papa, pa, your man, Penny, that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, I ain't a me, pa, January, or no, the big gun, I'm a penny, be you know, Eddie Banese. Mua utimi ton oko oko ni na na odo oba ako school o China oba obe ba be trials amne sa on basi obi meka medical school ako si na doctor juma ba trials am three years on timi basi because a holy mono at the train ni pa na obe train an kaso on timi brofo o train o China ni pa na so a osi a dinu so on timi China ni ye into oba na ayedi mahama si ni obe ye ni se medical schools. Or the Kesia Baku Air Batsa Amante Muho, Biba Mabubo Dean, as Sunyani Hospital, Yabeni Teaching Hospital, Sir Confanochi, Anna Kolebu, Niet Mia Chetre, a school for doctor for nurse for Nina Adie, Ewo Honomo, said the Bayer, a wa opeso called medical school. Obi or what you chat as the exams, come a come a eight A, seven A's, so no by interview, Nayan Fano, because space any ho. Intinu ni yebe ye ewo eho no no Greater Accra Regional Hospital also e no so obepe jamu na modern dialysis center ewo upper east bogatanga emante muho because uko wa si a dialysis center mu wo no e bia for pe no metimi uko upper east in podia na senior no must start but enye modern center machine ba ko e na ye juma into so oba or person be a case here. I bet my friends are a man to money hold you now. So the who are kidney problem, who feel burger, and ma in crying, and now come and say, I be pay be double adder and send to hospital. Now you pay off your own so any baby adder, baby, you need now aye car case here. Boku yendi, any sa man to money hold you now. So also be here. Say the in here, no the hospital, Papa is you ho. I bet me a boy, I'm a whole mo, I'm pumu dino. A demo. In the Emmy said, Nema Canadian, Metranity, our ha. Na and no far a hospital on conform with you, Moho, Bamundia, Ubi at a brothel. In Timin Kai, no, no, our brothel. Na I send beside you, Oha, Yayimu, but Nitia when you now ne say, Yes, you quatro castle of a mamma, dear, Yanadin, Tianidin. Nipa or say all ye we are my end. Why ye be pain? Why ye near brothel? The only quaternary hospital I work in ha, a University of Ghana Medical Center, or no one here here. Dodo Hospital, or no one here there here. Oba International Maritime Hospital, Waiyebi. Oko Chief Centers, Oko Krabia C, Obi Hunse, yeah, you are CCB. Or Oka C, or Cha ne 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 juma ya four aketi ya sono. Wan kani keke, a yehu mbi ya skani koshe here. Or ye scan a more chief's compound. I will my money now. I am in any any sadly pay and I all shall bore a bar obey me the way at also. Medas, thank you. Um, maybe maybe a patch of a crabby and son of your free.
Me fi se me nua no a mu di kan kasa ya no se man ka hwe ya o megu ma ni ma se. Because me fi se eh me ame papa ne o te kokor so o tun fo se to the second. So o te se ye se me twi nya. O be bi se se na o fa he na be kon kan. O fa plain and say o fa for me ko fa for mo be ngo be fa kuma se. O fa kuma se se o be twi akakra. Me nua no me twi akakra. Ba ne no hu se ne e na twi ze wan. Twi ze ya me twi mu nya kra. So mo mo fa nche me. So my mother friend, friend, and a security in I am I am a soldier for police for immigration for me So I am a question for the I need to and All right. So we thank all of you for coming. This uh, was the meeting edition of our time with sectorial spokespersons. We're we'll meeting again next week. We'll be having other spokespersons for other thematic areas of our manifesto. It's all about Ghana. It's all about resetting our nation, changing the direction that our nation is moving in, and rebuilding a Ghana that we all want together. A Ghana that works, a Ghana that offers opportunities for everyone irrespective of your background. And so it is very This is your election command center. And just one by the NDC's sectorial analysis of its 2024 manifesto. The first of its kind, like you had, Sami Jemfi stress, where they touched on health, education, and security. If you followed us here on your election command center over the weekend, you realize that the opposition NDC launched its party's manifesto. Some of these individuals were actually billed to be able to speak to these specific sectors. That opportunity uh, could not be made available. And so they've begun a series where they're seeking to, amongst many other things, explain uh, the various sectors within the manifesto and the benefits they intend to offer to the Ghanaian people should you decide to vote for them. Uh, that will bring us to the end of this particular edition of that particular news conference. Normal programming will resume. I am Owen Egbeta.